Hello there! I'm Syl, and this is my video series about how to RP in World of Warcraft. So why would someone want to RP in World of Warcraft? I mean, MMORPG. The RP is already in there, right? Well, not exactly. I mean, going to a big RP server, for instance in Europe on Argentan, it can actually create a lot more for your character. Meaning, for me, for instance, I get more immersion from the game if I roleplay my characters. It could also mean that you interact more with other players on your server and not just queuing up you know, in dungeons or raids. You can actually talk to these people and create incredible stories around your character. I know that a lot of people who are artists or writers find that extra inspiration while roleplaying. And it will also give you a different and new experience to the game. Beside all the raiding or all the dungeons that you have to do or island expeditions, you can now also dive into your character's background and roleplay. So let's get started. Just going to say that this is a very, very basic guide and I will dive deeper into character creation and all that fun stuff in later videos. Right, first things first you need to look at joining an RP server. Now with the launch of Battle for Azeroth and War Mode, we have no longer dedicated RP PvP servers or PvP servers. So you now have the choice between a PvE or an RP server. On EU, and I believe that it's the same for US, there are plenty of RP servers to join. You will have low, medium or highly populated servers. Personally, I would always go for a highly populated RP server because at least you will know you will run into people to RP with. If you want to know what sort of RP events are planned or what type of RP guilds are recruiting, then it doesn't hurt to go to the official forums. It's also a good way to see how active the RP community is on that server. Because you don't want to join a server when the last post on the official forums was made two or three months ago. Try to, to aim for a server that has at least maybe a daily post. At least you know that people are playing there. Of course, if you don't want to go to the forums, and let's face, who of us really wants to do that? You can also just roll an alt on a server that you think, this might be my new home. And just go check out the big major cities. Now, my choice would always be a raw human, go to Stormwind, avoid Goldshire. And you can just see how many people are out and about role playing. Now, the other thing you can do before you get started is to download a role play add on. There are three big ones one is TRP free or Total Role Play free, My Role Play, or XRP. All of these work together with each other, so you don't have to worry about not seeing someone's RP background in case you're using another mod. However, my preference has always been TRP free, just because of the layout and what sort of things you can fill in. But I would highly suggest trying them out for yourself and see what works for you and your character. I will dive into TRP free in another video. Okay, so you've picked your server, you've picked the add-ons, now it's actually time to create your character. There's two ways of doing this. The first way is you choose the character concept first, and then you create a tune, depending on the race, class, and the looks of it, that fits that concept that you created. Or the other way is you create the appearance of your character first, and then you come up with their background, their concept, any of those things. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. I've done both ways and both ways have worked for me. However, if you are brand new to RP, I would think about your character concept first and then create your tune. Okay, so what do you have to do? Choose your character's race. Which race are you going to play? Are you going to be a human? Are you going to become an elf? Any of the many elves we have? Now, picking your character's race is quite important because things like age and their background's history are quite intertwined with their race. For instance, elves and Draenei are very, very old compared to humans, whereas gnomes and dwarves are more in the middle. Now, if you have a hard time to decide which race you want to pick, 
I would suggest finding more information about that on websites like WowWiki. You can even find it in the Chronicle books or maybe even the visual guide. The visual guide is really, really good because it gives you information about the timeline in World of Warcraft and about the races in small bite-sized bits, really. However, I'm also thinking of creating a series of how to RP a certain race in World of Warcraft for the future. So keep an eye out for those. Now I've had people ask, can you roll any race and let me explain about that. So you sometimes, when you have an add-on, see people say, well, no, I'm not an elf. I am a blue dragon. I think that personally, it's your money. You can play whatever you want. So if you are running around as a half vampire, half elf, you go and do you, <laughs> you know? Just be happy with what you're playing. However, I do have to warn you just a little bit that the community doesn't always respond really well with certain races. And also, it might be quite difficult to get into a very, very difficult race like a dragon when it's your first RP character. Now, there is no race that will be super easy to get into, but if you would have to start off and you really want to see if it's not too difficult for you, I would personally start off with human. You can always branch out later on when you're more confident in your RP skills and the knowledge of World of Warcraft. And a human is very basic. You know, you don't have to be very complicated about anything. You're just playing a human. If you've eventually settled on a race, then you need to start thinking about the class. I know it's RP, but you would still have to think about the class that you pick because you might want to level more with this character. You might want to think about things like transmog. And we are very limited with those on our classes. But don't feel just because you roll a rogue that you have to be like a rogue. Maybe branch out and become a swashbuckling buccaneer or become a thief or a mercenary. You can branch out, but be very aware the skills that you have for that class that's really what you're tied to. That doesn't mean that you have to do anything with that. You know, you could become a baker in Stormwind. You don't need your paladin skills for that, but I don't know, maybe it will help selling those cakes. I don't know. With anything, my advice would be pick a class that you feel you could roleplay with the most and that would make you the happiest to RP with. Once you've done that, it's time for a background story. Again, if you pick a human, it could be quite easy. And when creating a background story, this is really for you. It's not so much for other players. Trust me, a lot of other people don't have time to read your novella about your character's history, but it is just so that for you, it's clear where your character was during which big event that happened in World of Warcraft and how they would respond to certain things. Are they from a background that hates violence? Were you a healer? Have you always been trained to become a medic? Or are you from a warmongering family? It's all those things that create and shape your character. And that is really for you, not for everyone else. I see plenty of people who write down in their description if you want to know anything about my background, just ask. And again, it helps if you have a little bit of an idea of where your character is coming from and how they would respond to certain things. Again, I will go into it more in later videos. Um, and, and that's it. Well done. You've just created your first World of Warcraft RP character. Now, of course, RP is nothing if you don't interact with other people. So the best thing you could do is do some walk-up RP. And I know this is very scary for a lot of people who start, but you will actually see a lot of people who have in their description, I'm happy with walk-up RP. And in the next video, I will talk a little bit about how you start with walk-up RP, things that you have to keep in mind, all the dirty tricks and tips that you need to have your first RP encounter, not in Gulture. So thank you for watching this first video in a series of how to RP in World of Warcraft. It's a quick and dirty guide. I hope that this has pushed you into trying or wanting to try RP. 
And keep an eye out on any videos for the future that dive more into how to create your character and how to actually start your first roleplay encounter. Thank you again for watching. If you want to know more about me and the things I do, just go to whispersofwar.podbean.com for my podcast or go to Twitter at whispers underscore of underscore war and you can find everything there. And don't forget to follow my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash muckmonkeys with two Zs. See you later.